Well, the building they're working on right now, uh, most uh, people remember it as the pawn shop. Uh, I remember it years ago as the Spurgeon's building. Um, years uh, later, Howard Johnson and Hallie Johnson bought the building, and I think he told me there were 16 different uh, renters in that building. That's how many, including uh, barber shops in the basement, a fur shop in the basement, a, a shoe repair business in the basement. Uh, and he's always proud to say that it was paid off in three years. So there was a lot of uh, you know business associated with it. Uh, I think Dr. G had an office in there at one time. Soil conservation was in there. So, like I said, there's just a, a lot of history uh, to the building. But you know, it's again one of those buildings that uh, over time uh, needed some roof repair that uh, wasn't done uh, and uh, reached a point where it was not salvageable anymore. So. Uh, just as a, you know, a block down, uh, there was an old hotel that was torn down and now is the home of the museum. Uh, this building will be torn down and uh, what will replace it uh, will be something that uh, 50 years, 100 years from now, uh, people will have memories about that. So, you know, it's just a lot of progress in Shenandoah. We're very proud of, uh, of all the work that's being done. Uh, proud that we had a mayor and city council uh, that saw the vision in this project and uh, we think that everybody will be very pleased. You know, anytime you do any demolition, uh, the first thing you have to have is an asbestos appraisal. Uh, that appraisal in our case was about uh, 125 pages. It identifies all the asbestos in all of these buildings. And then before any demolition can start, uh, that asbestos has to be removed by a special asbestos team. And then uh, that, uh, once it's removed, uh, that's inspected uh, by the DNR or OSHA to make sure that it's all removed. So there is no asbestos in these buildings now. The asbestos has been removed. That's taken to a certified asbestos uh, landfill site. Uh, and what you see now is, is just rubble. Some of this rubble, uh, the clean brick is going to be used uh, out at the trace uh, in some areas that they've had that have washed away. Uh, the rest of it will be hauled to, to uh, their own landfill, Anderson's Landfill in Council Bluffs.